Everything goes in so nice. It looks great. And they're only going to stretch, so it's going to be easier to do every time. Is that a spider? Hey. Hey, get off my best top. Get out of here. What's up, everybody? Uh, so today is an awesome day because I'm putting the new soft tops on my Bronco. Right now, I have the regular soft top, which is sort of just a normal square. And my least favorite feature about the factory soft top is you got the bacon windows. You got, I hate these windows. I want them to just be flat and nice. The best top windows like on it, they are way more flush and they're flat and they look nice. So we're gonna do a cool little uh, installation video here. You guys know I'm seven foot one. My Bronco is my baby. I already put a three inch lift on it. It's got the Sasquatch package and it's still, I mean, I'm still taller than it obviously, but it's like, it's my baby. It's my baby, I fit well in it. So now I just like making it look real good. And the best top, uh, soft top, it's called the Trek top. That's the next step in making my baby just, just perfect. It's gonna be a whole process to install this and uh, we're gonna do it together. All right, let's do it. So it came in two boxes. I'm gonna unwrap these and uh, set it all up how they tell me to. I got all of the parts set up, Haas. Got all the parts set up for the uh, Trek top. And now we're gonna get started. Uh, I have to go to Home Depot because I don't have like a Torx 20 screwdriver. Uh, Torx, is that what it is? So gotta go to Home Depot right now, get some tools that I'm missing, which is fine because I've needed uh, some tools to be honest. Right now I've been using Sarah's pink tool kit that her dad got her and it's been doing great. But I think it, I'm 30 years old, it's time I get tools. Welcome to the Home Depot where they sell homes and pot stuff for plants and tools. That was a stupid joke, I'm sorry. Secured, I got one of the electric ratchets because I figured it would save time. I only answered about 35 questions in there about how tall I was, it was great. The best top can't go down all the way, which at first I was like, ah, I sort of like the convertible mode, but also this is completely useless. You can't even see out of your rear view window when that thing's down. So I'm not gonna miss that at all. With soft tops, it's awesome that you could like put them down, but it gets so dang hot in this thing. And as you guys know, my uh, the shade of my skin is close to notebook paper. It's just the most pale thing you've ever seen in your life. You need sunglasses to look at me in the sunlight. My arms are overexposed because I'm so white anyways. moment of truth to see if this was a good investment so I don't have to the first part of all this is I have to remove uh, these on both sides my neighbor just walked outside he's like is that you making that sound and I was like yeah I'm a man I got tools all right so next we got to remove these guys right here with the t30 and then uh, we have to remove these brackets back here. This, say, this just saved me so much time. Look how nice and organized it is. Goodness. All right. See ya. This is the last time I'll say it, but I feel like a freaking pit crew member at F1. I mean, they need to hire me. Like, crap. Don't mind all of my dog's hair, but you got to uninstall the factory soft top, so I'm using. Did it! Now, usually they recommend two people to take the soft top off, but uh, I'm 7 1, so I don't need two people. That's how we do it. I'll admit that was uh, a little more awkward than I thought it was gonna be, but we did it. God, I gotta clean this up. Can you tell my dog was back here on a road trip? Good lord. Just gotta take these guys off, that's the last step, and then we're gonna start with the best top. We are now completely topless. I love this. Next step is to use an alcohol solution or water, but I, I just have hand sanitizer, but it's alcohol, right? So hopefully this works. Oh yeah! I'm a guyber up in this. Installing these stickers right now on the back, and then we're gonna start installing the rest, but this is the number one step. And why, number one step, why'd I say that? Dude, it's so hot. Why, literally the first day in Atlanta where it's, how hot is it right now? It's 87. We've been having cold days with a high of 98. Just because, they're like, Bo must be installing his best top 
trek top. He's let's let's get really hot. Just gotta line up the holes. That's what she said, and then place that puppet down. All right, now we got the other side. Jeez, close the door. Were you raising a barn bow? God. Um. I'm slowly dying of heat exhaustion. My wife's gonna wonder where I am. And then she'll come out here and I'll be dead. It covers up that little crevasse. So that's probably what it's for. You know, a lot of times I watch these installation videos and they're pretty boring. Hopefully I'm making this a little more entertaining while just getting straight to the point of what I'm doing. All right, next step is we're putting on this strip. We start at the door right here and we go all the way down and then we cut off the excess stuff right here. Cutting the excess off right here. Side note, I almost just got killed by a wasp, so that was fun. The excess ribbon that's hanging from this, you can have a little party with yourself. All right, just put the other side on and we're gonna cut this off and we're off to the next step. Right, next up, we got the seat pillars and we're gonna use the screws that they provided. I think it's the something by 30s, I don't know. So I looked and these are the T30 ones and uh, if I were you, I just screw them all in by hand first to just get it more even. And then you can get out the big guns and that's unscrewing, hold on. And of course, just repeat to the other side and now we are on to the next step, which I believe are these little foam pieces. Basically these foam pieces are going to uh, fit into those areas. Really clear, it just said to put this foam underneath here, but it didn't tell me to put these on yet, but I'm assuming that's what I have to do and I think these are next. So I put both of the, uh, what is it, the door, thing that like holds the door in, I'm pretty sure. The tailgate parts, I put those in and then I put the foam underneath like it said. All right, so I just put in these screws. They're the taller skinny ones and then we have the ones with the washers that are a little bit thicker and shorter uh, on each side, we have those. And then I just screwed in those ones as well. I would finger tighten everything just to get it lined up and uh, then you'll be good. All right, next we are putting these, uh, I guess the window fasteners in here. Got to line them up right here. Got these screws, gonna screw them in and then we got a smaller one to go in the back. Update, I'm dying of heat exhaustion, but we're taking out these front screws and then this screw right here and then we're going to put the uh, mount on. Next part we're putting on is this guy right here. Should note that the bumper part should be facing the back and we are reusing the screws. So we're gonna take those out, put some bumpers underneath and then uh, place them on. All right, I am now on top of the car and I am putting this guy down. I had to attach this flat piece to the, I guess it's called the bow, maybe wrong, but then we're going to put these in each of the holes on each side with fat little guys. Yes, I'm back in the garage, had to get out of heat. So what I just did right now was I put the bow on this part, both sides. Basically you have to, sorry, it's probably upside down, but you see those two screws right here, had to put those in on both sides. I'm sorry, this is a horrible description, but it does come with instructions. I'm just trying to do this to hopefully help you. Uh, and then we have these little sticky pads right here and you just basically put them on just like this. I feel like we're getting closer to this being done, which I'm glad because it's been about three hours. I just screwed in these parts right here, these different pivots right here. Basically, they're little elbow jo joints. You put them in there, screw them in, super easy to do. Uh, it's really hard to explain, so just look at the directions for that one because even I had a little bit of trouble. I actually put them on backwards, had to retake them off. But now it's the time to put this on to the Bronco. And it says you need a buddy for this, and I don't have a buddy, so this should be interesting. All right, successfully got it onto the car. It sort of just slips into place right here. Uh, now I'm going to flip this part back, if I can do it with one hand. And we're going to secure the elbows into here and then I don't know the rest. On the top, like I said, look at the directions because this is very hard to explain. I, have a little, I had a little trouble with it. I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure this out. So make sure this goes on the front portion and the second one and then the back elbow. Make sure the elbow is facing in and you link it into this back part right before like the T that goes down and then it goes back to right here. So this way, the whole top is able to move now. Look at the instructions. I didn't even know how to explain this because it's so complicated. Some of these parts are like, it's a little complicated, but 
hey, we're three and a half hours in and I think we're almost done. And it said four hours to install, which is pretty accurate. Right, this is the moment of truth. Hopefully this thing folds back because that's the next step. Yes. All right, I feel like we're on the home stretch. So what I did was I had to pull this cable through right here, which was actually one of the most difficult parts because the cable was like all the way up here. And so I had to push it through the top. It took like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I had to use pliers to pull it out. But anyways, you put a, a basically this little screw comes out of here. You put the uh, little ring from the window string on there, and then you flatbed it in, flatbed. You, can you guys tell I've been doing this for four hours? <laughs> And then on the bottom, all we gotta do is secure them with those, I think they're the M6 screws in four different spots. And then I think we're on the home stretch. This thing has been a lifesaver. I think this would have taken so much longer if I didn't go and grab this. So this should be able to close now from what I, all right. We got a working soft top. I gotta clean it off, but I will say, these are so much harder to click than the factory soft top. Just want to put that out there. Like I just spent like five minutes trying to figure it out. You really got to press and then they latch on and then you can close them. But it's definitely not like a one handed motion where you like lean over and close it. It's, it's a lot harder. I would say 70% harder <laughs> to close it, but you get the awesome look and I bet you it'll stretch out. It says, cause this is pretty tight. I bet you, uh, as it sits in the sun, it's gonna really stretch out and uh, it'll be way easier to do. But when I just did it, I was like, my God. Home stretch, the windows, the bacon windows are gone. Uh, these were a little hard to put on, I'm guessing, cause they need to stretch a little bit. And this part is near impossible to button. I'm like trying to button this, but I can't stretch it. So I'm gonna use my Leatherman and hopefully be able to stretch it. Update, the Leatherman worked. I just stretched it with one hand and then pushed with the other. If you can't get it, maybe get some pliers and pull this part while you're, yeah, I'm tired. Guys, it is on and I will say these windows are so much easier to put in than the stock uh, soft top. Like you just, everything goes in so nice, it looks great and they're only gonna stretch so it's gonna be easier to do every time. Is that a spider? Hey. Hey, get off my best top. Get out of here. I am a big fan of this for sure. Best top. Thank you guys. This is freaking awesome. Last thing, I love how this just opens all the way like this. So much better than the factory.